Hello and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we we'll bring you the biggest entertainment stories and definitely analyze them for you. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Benny Ak. Hi, beautiful ladies. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> she wants to be called amazing and interesting. Amazing, interesting, mm. petite, beautiful, sexy, mm. delectable. Don't stop. Mm. <laughs> I like it. Stop, I like it. Stop, I like it. Okay. It's all good. Mm, how was your night? Well, yours. Is it out of place when you ask people how their night was? Why? Some people find it like rude. Like, why what would you want to know? know exactly. Why night? would you want to know? Mm. I think it's thoughtful, but you will not hear more than fine. I'm not going to be like, okay, so That's what happened was I started sleeping. And yeah. Like, you're not going to get exactly. the like For details. me, if, if, there, if there are details I want to share, and mm. I can't share with you. I get irritated at you asking me that right, question. Right. That's it. Good. It's not your business. Just, it's not your business. Just to Great. how are you. Uh, okay. You don't really want to know how my night was. You know? mm. Yeah. But I, I want to know it if depends, you can share. Yeah. Mm. Moving on. Nikki Minaj's husband arrested, indicted for failure to register as sex offender. TMZ reports that Petty was arrested during a traffic stop in Beverly Hills on 15th of November in LA. Um, okay, and the LA County DA charged him with failing to register as a sex offender in the state of California after moving there with Minaj. He was released on bond at the time, but apparently he did not register after that. And on Wednesday, he turned himself into um, federal marshal and has been taken into custody. Hmm. It's, it's just a sad um, twist of event for Ken, Kenneth. Um, is it sad? Is it um, this is because I mean, this, this, he, this he, is his past. He to this is his past coming. Mm -hmm. coming. He registered this is his in, past. He's registered in New York, mm -hmm. but he's refused yeah. to register. But this, this, this one thing, um, it's, it's the case of your past coming back to haunt you. Yeah. This was a case that happened way back 1995 mm. in, in New York. Oh, he was he was charged with first degree attempted rape and actually I still served. Do not agree with his it, this is past. It, it is his past. I don't know what he was him. thinking. All you're you know, saying is register. Simple. Ah, no, sure. it's not but that listen, simple. Listen, like, that's listen, something exactly. that's going to like mess up your yeah. whole entire. 1995. Life. Listen, mm. listen. So you're saying he should listen, register? Um, he should. He should. He should. Um, no, he should register. But I'm saying it's 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 the process he's taken. Oh, right. And he just recently moved to California oh, when? He, la he moved last, last year? Last, um, 20, April? Last year. That's recent. You know, so may recent. maybe he was That's still... recent. Last year. Oh, recent. Last yeah. year. Uh, it's recent. You so know. it was saying that you're living somewhere. People live somewhere long term. We're talking many, yeah. many years. And he's always been registered. He there. was always registered in New York where this crime was committed. Don't forget, he also did a four-year. He Let's did a four-year jail this, term. The case is not that he has started the process and it's taking too long. He failed. He failed to register. Mm -hmm. that many things except could have you, except you are that. saying that he should not register since no, he's already registered in New York. I'm not saying that. So because what are they, you they need to ex they need to establish a whole lot of probable cause. Was he running away? Hold up. Was what he are you talking about? Oh, wait. Now I'm saying. I'm on your side for a second because I thought no. There's, there's no. There's no you're excuse. On his side. No, 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 no. I'm not. No, I'm not saying this... he shouldn't register. Okay. All right, I'm just saying this is a case of someone's past coming back to hunt him for him refusing to do what he was supposed to have done. Yeah. But again, he has saved time for this first degree attempted yeah, rape. Yeah, but you still have you to know. register. And the problem here, again, he stands a chance, but if, if, if found guilty or refusing to register, he might be going to jail for another 10 years. You know, unfortunately. So he didn't do what he was supposed to do. His past caught up with him. That's yeah. just what I'm saying. I thought you were giving excuses for him for a second. No. Because there's no excuse. He no, just no doesn't excuse. want to do it. And I understand, like you're saying, yeah. why he wouldn't want to do it. Sex offender, offenders can get many, many jobs. And I can imagine exactly. he wants to start his life all over, all over you know? again. He wants to hide that and behind he him. Just, he just recently a, did their, their court stuff with, yeah, with me. Yeah. I, I understand where he's coming from. Yeah. But the law is still the law. And he I still agree. committed that crime. Um, but are we going to then drag it? It was such a long time ago. I'm not saying that that makes it bad and he should serve the time which he has and he should register which he should have. But is it a crime that a man wants to be able to close a chapter of his life that now he... Now you get my he, point. He, That's because I'm pretty much seven in his shoes. Yes. I don't saying, think there's anything you, wrong. You, you two are saying two things at the same time. Yes, saying, we are. Oh, you should <laughs> register. Yeah, are, exactly. Are all saying all but again, at the again same time. I'm, I'm empathizing because if, yeah. if I was in that position, this is me trying to turn a new leaf and I have to go and register myself. Already, I put myself at a disadvantage. That's what they call consequences you know? But yes, it is, yes, exactly. It is consequences yeah. of your action. We are saying two things. He is supposed to do the right thing, but are we going to empathize? But is it that you cannot empathize with him? You can him, exactly. but you kind of empathize yeah. with him. I especially empathize with Nikki more because I am a huge, huge fan. Um, and I know how much, you know, settling down with the man and starting her family, you know, 
means to her yeah. and I just feel like this is it's another big setback. Now, is it something that she shouldn't have seen coming? Yes, you are dating a sex offender. Whether he was a sex offender in the 90s or sex offender when he was younger, he is a sex offender. And in the country that you like, was... Do you think she was privy to this? Because... Oh, she knew. Because, she knew. Yeah. So, she knew on her, on her radio show, Queen Radio, that she has. She talks about it a lot. And she even... I remember when Wendy called her out and said, why would you be dating a sex offender? And she dragged Wendy saying that, um, you know, can't you give people a second chance mm -hmm. and everything? You have a point in that, yeah. but even whatever by whatever stuff you're reading, everybody will tell you that there is still consequences to an action, even if you are remorseful about that action. So he has to do right by the law. Yes. Yeah, he has to do right by the Simple. law, but this is a, a still been drag from from Which something he did in the him. past. Hold up, that's it. Because after that he, incident, oh, hold what up. I'm saying after that is, incident, he shouldn't be drag. He should be drag. Past Listen to what I'm saying. He is the one opening this room for after that, drag. After that incident, it, I don't think anybody will has there been any other yeah. incident about oh, him? Gone. Oh, with the law. I'm just saying. Are you? No, get my point. This is a man who probably regrets his action, what he did, for whatever yeah, reason why I he did what he did, yeah, yeah. you know, mm. but he's still being dragged by it. Unfortunately, he's got to face the law. He foiled the dragon. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, if he did he the did. right thing, this would not be in the news yeah. right now. Like so, it's just so easy. You know, I'll, just, I'll just walk into the, the I'll just walk actions. into the district. Yeah. His actions that's and what I'm saying. actions is what brought. I'll say that's it. It's just and so I'm, easy. I'm sorry, I don't feel pity. I'll for just him walk right into the district at Tony's he office, has a and you know what I'm here. Yeah. His side, so he should do the right thing. That's it. I'll just walk. I just take myself. Walk into the district at Tony's office. I'm just here to raise myself as a sex offender. Why would you then do the sex offense in the first place if you didn't? If you didn't, you can't have pride. You can't. I know, but we can't. I'm not just. I'm the just crime. giving him empathy. That's all. That's okay. it. I'm not justifying the crime, Elsie, but I'm just saying. Empathy to him. Oh you know, you know, we, we've all been in situations when, we, if we look back on, we're not so proud of. Unfortunately, we live yeah, in a system where the law doesn't catch up with anybody. Here. Here. That's what I'm saying. You know. Well, but, we actually yeah. do have a sex mm. offenders register. Uh -huh. It's not as active as it's supposed to be. <laughs> what's what's launched, that the lining word again? Hold on. It I was, like that. It active. was launched mm. about three months ago, if I'm not mistaken. And they're still hoping to perfect um, things that are necessary so that it can be accessible to everybody and yeah. you'll be mandated. I'm, I'm, not, being a, I'm not being a pessimist. You'll be mandated. We don't have that kind of data. We don't have that. We don't have that kind of we'll structure. Them, but let's we'll get you know, maybe in another, hundred, in maybe in another hundred years or so. Come on. Moving on. It's not that bad. Really? Okay, moving on to the next story. James Bond movie, which I have been waiting for. The release have been pushed back to seven months because of coronavirus. The producer said they had moved the release of No Time to Die from April to November after careful consideration and thorough evaluation of the global theatrical market. Please, yeah. Uh, the, the That's co sad because there's really nothing in the, the cinema COVID right now. COVID nineteen mm. pandemic. It's it's global. It's mm. it's it's an emergency right now globally. Um, WHO and all that. You know, but for me, this is it. We waited like how long this movie has been in, in production for like uh, four, it was it was supposed to come years. out last year, I think yeah. October, and it yeah. was moved to now. It's been moving. We waited yeah. like four years. And amazing if you check most of the countries affected by this pandemic coronavirus, the the people who contribute the hugest when it comes to box office well, amount. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. And so it's only business sense mm. for them to do what they need to do now. Yeah. And I don't think bringing the movie out next year in two years' time will change the quality of what already has been produced. The movie has been produced, so mm -hmm. we're just going to wait another one month or um, sorry, till so November. Hmm. You know, so I don't think that affects yeah, anything. Yeah. And months. again, this this is this is them um, um, showing solidarity with the fact that you know what um, you place human human health, then the money you're going to make from the box office because. Push the push the movie to another two years. It's still gonna gross in what it's meant to gross in, mm, uh, but mm, 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 yeah, because it doesn't change the quality of the movie for the, I, for the, for the die. Are I, I you a James of, Bond I kind fan? Of, the I franchise. kind of disagree with um, not having time affect your movie. I think it can. I think that with with movies are always a reflection of the time, and you don't know what's gonna happen in terms of development well, no, globally. No time to die. That um, it, it, it's it's not it's it, not it, for it, this particular. I'm just saying. I'm just yeah, saying okay. that there is seasons. For example, for example, now we have a female in this movie. That's mm -hmm. it. Um, a reflection of this of the season we are in today. Mm. That's what I'm saying. So to say that time doesn't affect the quality of a movie, I think is. No, I, 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 think no, I don't think so. It's not going to change the quality of the movie. I'm not saying that it's going to change. I'm not saying that the movie is going to be bad.
bad. Okay. I'm just saying that time does affect the quality of movies, depending and on how that goes. But what I would and say, depending to, on the storytelling as well. Yes, and and remember, we don't know what we don't know. Have you seen the particular movie? And remember, you have seen it. We don't know what's in there for us to see if we'll be ready for it in the same way as. In we two years, now. yeah, and this is more for Daniel Craig because this is his last mm. installment. That's what, that's what as, I wanted to talk about was you know, with him um, and how this is affecting his life because he, I, two, two, even seven months—I don't know how many months—November is a long time away, and. Um, you're looking at the business side of it, you are slowing down people's profit making. I understand that they have to make that decision because it's not just about the population, but themselves as well. They're going to go for premieres, they're going to hold doors. And there things. was already a premiere uh, uh, sometimes last year, in 2019, around December, in the, in, in the UK, the first yeah. world premiere of it. Yeah, was, but Corona was, in the was UK. in a. Yes. Yeah, well, you I'm know. talking about Corona now. Yeah. So, you know, there's all of that issues and stuff. And then you see that this is his last one. I'm sure he wants to make a bang, but I, I think you can look at the story in a good and bad way. I've there's always been the evidence of stalling making more profit yeah. when you hold back something look like sugar rush when it was taken out of the cinemas it made more money than it was the for the whole period he's been showing longer because of that um withdrawal so sometimes scandal is good when I mean, you say good he would really is, to make a bank are you talking uh, in regards to the money going to be made no or? i no, 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 his 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 yeah his like final. this is his final performance he's like you he, like he rightly said the movie is done I don't yeah. think they're going to go back to reshoot anything. No. So if there's going to be a bang that he was going to make well, in the next I, no, three weeks, I don't mean he, I don't mean his performance. Bang. I mean the reactions of the people. Yeah. So, so I'm looking at the, the, the exposure. On. Yeah, the exposure that's going to get and all that. It changes a lot. I don't well, know. Well, I'm thinking by now with, think with so. this with this move um, this postponement to November, mm. the the anticipation is only going to get heightened. Of yeah. course. You okay. know, and, and that is going to still be more money for. Mm. For, yeah, for the, and um, just office. to put this out for UK, it's now 12th of November, and then from U for US, it's going to be 25th November. There is no particular date for the world premiere right yeah. now, but we know we, sh we shall see it last, last. And I'm just hoping that this actually gets better for the no November. My, my, no, my, no. the best outcome that can come out is that actually that corona get, coronavirus gets more contained before November and they move it closer. That's the best thing that can happen. Are you I don't think, I don't think they keep on, they, they keep on a, um, postponing till. Because this is not something that we know might end anytime soon. So. But, but are you a fan of the 007 franchise, yeah. by the way? It's all great. Okay. It's time so for we're a looking quick break. To for a return, we'll definitely have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Right oh, yeah. Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Minimal are you? Mm. music is for mature minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early, sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is Silty Time on Plus TV Africa. M.I. Abaga joins Fela. Um, he becomes the second Nigerian musician to have a fan write an inspirational book in his honor. Um, Noel Michael Bucky, a fan of Nigerian rapper M.I., has written a book on the artist and dedicated it to his inspirational views on life as reflected in his song. Bucky took to Twitter to share an image of the book's cover while seeking M.I.'s permission to publish the book titled The Crowded Self, an, Explo an exposition of M.I. Abaga's study on self-worth, Young Denzel. And of course, M.I. has given him the permission. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I also saw a reply from Audu McCurry and he said something like, um, permission already granted. Yeah, so. Now, my question is, this book is already done, isn't it? Yeah. Mm, it's not published yet. But I'm saying it's but done. He, he yeah. it, the, the book is yeah. written already. Now, yeah. I've had a few authors approach me. They want to do a book on me. They ask particular questions. They want to know okay. my story. They we want have flex, but okay. You know, yeah. no, oh, no, I'm just, no, I'm sorry, I'm just saying. No, 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 it's All okay. Right. So like, I'm, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit, I'm a bit not so um, enamored by this because you, if, you don't, if you don't know MI, if yeah. you didn't have a one-on-one -on -one with it's MI. It's not his memoir. 
Well, a it's case study of song. him, he said something about him. But again, at the end of the day, I feel there should have been an interface between this author, this book writer, and Emma. And so you're giving him permission to write. And at the end of the day, if, if it's published and most of the things in there don't necessarily reflect who you are, then what, go, what happens? I would have expected that Emma would have been consulted, meet with this guy, Tell your own story the way you want to tell it. And they it's know what it is. It's not a story. It's what? not a story. It's about his music. Yes, and it, that's, about it, but st that's it. About it, his music. His music from that has been in, that he has felt inspired him. This is not about <laughs> MI <laughs> and MI's opinion no, no, no. about no, no, how he's inspired. No, it is the good thing I have, I have reached out MI, to Bucky MI's and hopefully art he'll be on the is show. MI. It's so. a reflection of MI. <laughs> I get so where we, you're coming yeah, from. We can't what I expected, from I, I think I had that feeling when I saw MI's response, permission granted only. It made me feel like, is it that you people have, you've had a conversation before bringing exactly. it to Twitter just to publicize it? Because I expected that you would say, okay, yes, I would love this, permission granted, but can we see just... You what might angle not are you saying? When I saw this thing, because yeah. I also love him, I, I because you know for Fela, whole album. I mean, I, that's what I'm going to say now. To, I went to Fela's Fela was own, dead when and that's what I'm happening. saying. It is possible for it to be done without the person influencing solely, like attaching his um, yeah, influence onto the book. So there's nothing wrong with him not getting permission or involving Emma in the journey of writing the book before it's done. Because the person that we are comparing it to, that never happened. Not for any of the books, and there's about three of them. Yeah, so because it, it never not, happened it doesn't, doesn't make it, doesn't make yeah, it but right. It doesn't mean you know, it's like necessary. Said, it's not, it's, Fela, it doesn't make it wrong Fela is, Fela is dead. And again, whoever did that, I, I want to believe he also saw, he also met with Fela family. His he kids are still have alive. To, is what I'm saying. Now, I'm just saying, if somebody wants to put out a book about me, regardless of whatever it is, my, my art, my art form, a biopic, my autobiography, it's only right i think it's what it's done you meet with the president and say okay i want to do this about you even if it's my music and that's what? nice you don't, even know, you don't even know where my source of inspiration comes from when we it comes don't care to my music. that's what the book is about you know? yeah but you, <laughs> but you know mi has um played a lot of role in the industry and he has he's had a lot of beef as well in the industry and he's had how many albums now so i think he's one of the artists that released i think two albums in one year was it three albums in one year so i think just sitting back and looking at Ay, say Ay, <laughs> looking at Ay, his journey and everything. I think it's enough for a very creative person because to this guy is not just that they need. any yeah. writer. He's that's what he does for a living. So I think it's enough to create a concept and write something on Mi. He he said he's going to be on the Young Denzel movement and all that mm. alone makes a yeah. book. Yeah. So it's possible. The I just hope he does justice to it. Yeah. And I hope that Mi will not come out tomorrow and be saying this one is not true because you had the opportunity that's my to point, say. You know, Let's I mean, because and the, I, I the don't young I, I, even, even if it's the wrong, there's nothing wrong is, with that. Is, this is, is not MI's book. Force, this is yeah. not MI's book. Somebody, We're not going to go and get the truth from MI MI's MI's written by somebody else. Somebody's writing about MI. So people write about no. people all the time. You can't that's get your, your information for most of from it, there. That's it. For most of it, the information either turns out a fallacy or an untruth. And that's not yeah. MI's problem. It's but okay. That's what Elsa just said. Let's hope by the end of the day, when this book finally comes out, Emma is not going to have some problem with yeah, some of the things that are written about him. For me, I don't want to take away from the fact that this is a big deal for Emma. Yeah, it's it a is. big mm. accolade, and I'm and I'm, I'm proud that somebody has done that for him because he deserves it. I'm not I'm not going to say he's the most recent, like you know, he's bringing out music back to back and he's relevant today. But I will put quality over quantity, quantity. and say that he has produced very fine music that was rich in African culture. Was a good rap. I'm not even a big rap fan but i love his music i cannot say that mi is a terrible artist or on any song or that he doesn't deserve this so kudos to him and kudos to the person that brought this idea or initiative up mm. <laughs> 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 okay i like that moving on if you're too much in a haste to get hooked in marriage satan will quickly package one of his cousins for you as a suitor you really don't want to know what it means to have satan for an in-law pay all the price of patience you can pay now the lost choice is worth waiting for and this is coming from pastor mike bamiloye i, I see him more as an it's actor or sorry. a veteran yeah. actor but yeah I'm sorry what he's a pastor uh, uh yeah mm. 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 and an actor what, what's, what's, what's I'm sorry, I mean, this, this write-up comes up pretty to me, pretty much unlettered, like someone that's pretty much very unlettered and a close How, why? Wow. Because, I'm sorry, I mean, uh, do you know the devil? Have you sat with the devil? Do you know Church what the, the, the devil's cousin? I mean, who's the devil's cousin? 
All right, it sounds like something someone on Lettered and a club page would just put out there. Wow. Who are you trying to impress? What are you, and, and this 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 is this is all part of a problem where our society. Are you society, saying we don't have devil's cousins? Who was the devil's around? cousin? <laughs> In the form of men. <laughs> and who do you? I can be packaged and given to yeah. all patient you know, women. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just saying. There's a better way he would have gone about putting out what he wants to he's say. He's talking to the name. masses. This is how masses masses no, talk. He's the talking masses. to his flocks, <laughs> and I mean, which is a man. So he, he has he has a bunch he has a bunch of unlettered. Flocks. I mean, he's talking to. I mean, devil's causing this and that. We get your point. You're trying to tell people to patient. be patient. Don't rush go into about, marriage. That's it. Yeah. Go about it. Go about, about it more decently and more. I'm glad that you I know mean, he has a point. Mm. Or you agree. He has yeah, but a I just point. said the way he went about it. It yeah. sounds like someone mm. who's unlettered. Sorry, I mean, Marvin, it's devil, so for don't be angry. It's for the devil, yeah. devil's It's causing, for his people. You know, they, they, the we, get, we get it. Yeah. So let's, let's yeah. dwell on the point. Yeah. Uh, yeah, which is? So, which is, um, don't be in a rush to get married so that you will not get. How do I put it? That's what it's <laughs> yeah. like. So you'll fall into the right, wrong hands, basically, right? right? Do you agree? I don't that? agree. Okay. Absolutely not. I totally think it's, disagree with I think, I think there's no manual to marriage and love and people. There mm. isn't. We're too complicated for that. I've seen people who wait 100 years. The man is fantastic, 100 years, and you enter the marriage and he changes. Mm -hmm. And I've seen people who have married in less than six months and they're still together 24 years. So there is no manual to things. Is there a virtue in patience? Absolutely. In that, because it really depends on what the quality of that time you have spent together looks like. For Nigerians, for example, where your love life looks like yeah, I'm under my mother's house you don't see each other at all you would have the time I would encourage people to date more because of that but if you're living together I feel like or in like a month you already know that this man doesn't put the toilet sit down he doesn't so from like um, abroad or whatever I think people don't need that much time because they're a lot more um, closer to each other and spend more time with each other so there is no manual I saw in the comment section we're just like praying and saying yes amen it's not <laughs> it's not that deep um, there is no that's not a, that's not a guarantee that you would do okay just really open your eyes ask for wisdom if that means praying it's being spiritual or asking your friends around or people that in your that are in your life that you trust their advice on who this man is and or woman or whoever it is that you're with and then find out the quality of the person if you can deal with that for the rest of your life and you're good to go if that only takes three months mm. I like how you put it because it is not about what you did right or what you didn't do right. Yeah. Just hope that life doesn't just hit you because sometimes you do everything right by the books. Mm -hmm. And I like to say there's no rule for these things, right? But we know we've set a certain standard and to say, oh, this is how you should talk to him for the first one month or for the first um, oh God. week. Oh, that is BS. Then, I mean, the next three months, don't do the do, you know, or don't do the do till marriage and blah, blah, blah. Mm. Then you do all that and you realize that still a she is, still oh, is, or he oh, is, is, you know, BS. so... Yeah. You know, um, I, I also understand when people pray about their life partner because yeah. sometimes when um, it gets overwhelming, you just want to tap into the higher authority yeah. and hope that he helps you or guides you or she, <coughs> like you always say. <laughs> but um, I think we should just be prepared, enjoy yeah. the moment and um, live each time as it comes. Mm -hmm. So if tomorrow the most awesome man or woman in your life decides to be the devil's cousin, <laughs> um, just be equipped enough to exactly. carry on stand up and excel are you laughing mm -hmm. i'm just saying we're all we're all just <laughs> we're all just a product of collective socialization and social conditioning mm -hmm. i mean modes have been created and labels have been given to us and we're just carrying on and not even questioning stuff mm. all right this is somebody who you say is a pastor and i, I sometimes I, i'm trying to imagine what he says to his flock when he's having a service you can mislead people with just a statement all right like she already said there's no one more fit all mm -hmm. all in marriage no it's Two people about to start on the journey. It's their experience. They're going to make their mistakes. They're going to find out what doesn't work. But because before we go into it, somebody feels they have the right to call what they call canceling and tell you there's a particular way it should be. And then you go into that stuff. It's not now turning out the way you were canceled. And you begin to feel, oh, wow, it's not working. Mm. Then the triggers, panic setting. Somebody's feeling, okay, this is not what I was told, though. I think it's time I exit. I think the, 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 the whole institution and concept of marriage needs to be deconstructed. Well, we, we need we break need, that whole thing down. <laughs> you know, we need to in, in, in the light it. in the light of the twenty first century. Mm -hmm. um, those modes they created for us. Are you saying uh, that we not, shouldn't marry? No, I'm not saying that. Okay. And not we'll everybody's going to get married. Terms, right? yeah. mm. Not everybody's going to get married. Of course. And not everybody should marry. Mm -hmm. And everyone and needs that, to marry. And mm. it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. Okay, unfortunately you know. we have to go, but I think we'll create more time for you to deconstruct this marriage institution. Girl.
Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's our Yola wrap up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. I remember you can catch this conversation all over again by visiting our YouTube channel, our Plus TV Africa. And please do remember to subscribe. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my exciting co-anchors, Ife Omai well, you and like that, Benny Ag <laughs> and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. See you later.